Howdy friends, I'm Joe for those of you that don't know and today, uh, let's see, 95 degrees, getting ready for winter, um, getting the old firewood going. And this year I changed it up a little bit and I did uh, these firewood racks. I, uh, I found some really neat pallets, uh, three foot, or sorry, six foot by five foot wide pallets and I, I had to grab them and I've always kind of had this idea so I wanted to get it going. Um, it's all free, I mean for me, the pallets are free, the plywood I had left over from uh, protecting a floor on a job we were working on. The lumber is just cutoffs that were too small to use but long enough to do this. So. Just uh, I kind of want to give you guys a rundown of what went into it. So we'll start off, pallet was uh, five foot by six foot long. So I cut it in half. put some wood bracing in the back there to hold everything together. Uh, the next thing I did, I had some plywood laying around from a project we used to protect a floor. Wood, I cut it to fit the side and the top height. And then I uh, nailed the piss out of that. I put a bunch of eight penny nails just all up and down and around it just to give it some strength. The brace here, it ties the bottom and the top together to keep it from kind of unfolding in a sense and it really helps out, especially because all that wood's pushing on the back. and then uh, nailed the piss out of that. I
measurements are three by three by five, which comes out to 45 square feet. A uh, cord of wood would be uh, four by four by eight, which would be 128 square feet. So this I figure is plus or minus um, a third of a cord, which is uh, also known as a rank, if you needed to know that. The benefit, I mean, I can pick it up with the tractor. I just throw my fork attachments on there and uh, pick it up and take it wherever I want. Uh, my plan is pretty much to keep it over here near my little wood processing area and then when I need more wood, I'll drag it over to the house and uh, set it down either near the house and just pull out of it or stack my woodshed up with, uh, with more wood. All right, so now I got a good little pro tip for you. It doesn't matter if you're building one of these, you could even make these out of regular pallets. They'd be a little small, um, but I mean, you can do, do whatever you want. It's just, you know, cheap and easy and time-saving, which is nice. But back to the pro tip. So if you go to your local lumber yard, when they get a delivery, they usually come wrapped. Um, keeps the sun off it and it also uh, keeps the rain off it if you're in either climate. And so what I do is I'll go to my local lumber yard and just, hey, you got any of these uh, tarps from when you get your deliveries and usually they'll give them to you. Bonus pro tip, if you go to a lumber yard and they have these and they want to charge you for them, don't ever go back to that lumber yard for nothing. Find somewhere else that they're not in, they're not in it for the right reasons. But yeah, so these are cool because first of all, they're cheap. <laughs> And it's not like you got to worry about, you know, hurting it really, because you could just go get some more. And I'll just staple this thing down. Also notice how there's a hump on the top. When I stacked it, I, I made it higher in the middle and then kind of tapered off the sides. So when it rains, the uh, rain will just hopefully roll off the sides. So that's what went into building my cheap, I guess you could even say free, um, pallet wood racks, pallet firewood racks. I hope this was informational and maybe you got some ideas. Uh, if you <clears throat> any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll see you on the next one.